Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marie. If you are new here, I'm a stay-at-home mom from Georgia of three kiddos, ages two, three, and ten. Nolan hasn't had a nap today, so he's kind of ill, but we're about to go get our grocery pickup. But really quickly, I wanted to walk through my house and show you guys my furnished home tour. I have been living I have been living in this four-bedroom mobile home for about three months now, and I've been promising you guys a furnished home tour since we moved in. Anyways, if you guys know my story, we were living in a three-bedroom house about 30 minutes from here, and we ended up getting told that we had 90 days to be out of our home because the landlords were losing it to the bank. We were renting it, so fortunately for us, we found this four-bedroom mobile home. It's got a big woodsy yard, lots of room for the kids to run around and play, and it has four bedrooms, so we jumped on it immediately, and we were in a rush trying to move anyways. This is the home that we were meant to be in. I'm just going to walk you guys through my home and show you guys the way that I have it decorated, and I redecorate all the time, so in my videos, you're probably going to see things moved around and things different, but I'm going to go ahead and start in the living room and just walk you guys around, and I did not deep clean my house before I did this video, and that is one of the reasons since I wasn't able to film this video sooner because I always feel like I needed to deep clean and make sure my house was 100% cleaned up and all the toys were put away, but realistically, that's not gonna happen. So what I did do was just kind of walk around my house and clean up, I did the dishes, I wiped the counters down, I did basic cleaning around my house, and you're gonna see what my house looks like on a regular day-to-day -day basis with all of the toys picked up off the floor. And if you are new around here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and stick around and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video today. I create tons of motherhood content, lifestyle content, realistic mom life or anything that pertains being a mother and homemaking, cleaning motivation, mixed in with mom life vlogs. So if that's what you're into, I hope you'll stick around. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for always coming back and always supporting me. I love you guys so much and I hope y'all are having the best day ever. So here to greet us as we walk in my front door are my two toddlers, Arabella and Nolan, and this is basically what you see whenever you first walk into my home. I actually turned my living room into a dining room as well. We split the room in half and we do have a ceiling fan and a high arch ceiling, which I love. My entertainment center is from Walmart and I love the shabby chick rustic style. You will notice that is the theme throughout my house, the galvanized, the rustic, the shabby. And if you see anything in this video that you like and are interested in that I do not mention, feel free to comment down below and ask me about it and I will let you guys know where it came from. I purchased the majority of my decor from either Walmart, Target, Amazon, Ross, or TJ Maxx. And this big clock in my living room is from Walmart. It was about 25 bucks. My living room curtains are also from Walmart and I love the design on them. They are sheer, neutral tone. Love those so much. My living room rug is from Lowe's. It was 200 bucks and I love the tassel and the fringe and the shag. And my couch throw pillows are also from Walmart. This is a salmon pink pillow, which was about 15 bucks. And then the gray checkered pillow that was a set of two for 13 bucks. This is the caddy corner cabinet in my living room that matches my entertainment center. We got it in a set from Walmart. And I'm going to show you guys the way that I have my shelves decorated on this bookcase. And I plan to paint my blessed sign white from black. I think it'll look better and pop more. And my bottom shelf is empty because I am still looking for a basket to put down here. And I love my tall living room lamp. It's actually a three-piece set. The smaller two lamps are on my bedside tables, but I love the look of this lamp. It's from Walmart. And I'm going to link what I can down below, but some of my decor I will not be able to link. This wreath came from the Wish app, and this Bless This Home sign came from Ross. There is just some of my decor that I cannot link because I did buy it at Ross or TJ Maxx, but I will be linking everything that I can down below. Moving on to my dining area. To the left is the hallway to go to the back bedrooms 
and walking into my dining room the first thing you're going to run into is my desk this is my work area this is where i keep my computer and then right behind my desk is our dining table I ordered my kitchen table off of Amazon and it was in the $500 range and we love it. The only thing I hate about it is the cloth seats because they stay dirty and then my desk came from Ross as well as my chair and then I got my dry erase calendar from a local store. My curtains came from Walmart. They were $5 a panel so it only cost me about 20 bucks to put curtains in my dining area. This tray came from Amazon. The glass bottle and greenery all came from Target. And my favorite piece of my entire dining an area is my gather sign over my table. And we'll go down my hallway in just a minute, but for right now, we're going to head into the kitchen. My favorite part about the kitchen is the bar. I love having this little bar. It's not quite big enough to put chairs at, but I just love lighting a candle on it. And over here in the corner is my empty fruit basket because we need to get groceries in my mail basket. I have a baby gate up so my kiddos do not take off into the kitchen and get into stuff. Going into my kitchen, I have a short little hallway and I hung up this home sweet home sign with a little key. I have this pantry cabinet since we have limited space here and this cabinet came from Lowe's. It's actually two cabinets pushed together and then I have my trash can on the other side of it. We have a big storage building outside and then over here is our small kitchen and our countertops are kind of like a neutral tone color which I love. And here's an overview of what you see whenever you walk into my back door. And over beside my stove, I set up a little coffee bar and I think it is so cute. I just have my coffee bar sign from eBay, my tray from Target, my Keurig, and my little sugar bowl came from Target. The acrylic tray in the back came from Walmart for about eight bucks that houses my coffee. And my utensil holder came from Walmart and I actually want to get a white one that says utensils on it. I think those are so cute. And I ordered my Keurig off of Amazon. It's really hard to find the white ones. They're always sold out. And behind my coffee bar, I just have a little cutting board that says thankful. And on the other side of the counter, I like to keep my blender out because it encourages me to make smoothies. And I also have my dry erase to-do list from Target Dollar Spot. And in the little skinny cabinet, that's just where I keep my brooms and my mops. And in this door straight ahead is Adeline's room. And I'm going to give you guys a little peek into Adeline's room. I have recently done a tour in her room where I cleaned up her room. So I'm not going to spend too much time and detail in my kiddos' rooms. But I am going to show you guys a quick overview of their bedrooms. And Adeline is my 10 year old. She likes mermaids. So her room has been mermaid themed for a couple of years now. If you would like a more in-depth and detailed organized video about Adeline's room, definitely check out my mermaid room tour video next. But most of her decor is from Hobby Lobby or Ross and her bedding set is from eBay. Her blackout curtains are from Amazon. They have little star cutouts, which is so adorable. And I also added some star string lights. And this bedroom was actually the dining room that they converted into a fourth bedroom. So it does not have a closet. So we just bought her a wardrobe, which is the big white cabinet in her room. And I absolutely love that they converted this room into a fourth bedroom. It's been so helpful for me and my family and for my girls, especially since our living room is so big, we were able to just split it in half and have the dining room out there, which I like it out there better. But now heading out of Adeline's room, turning to the left, walking back through our living room and through the dining area and going down the hallway brings us to the kids bathroom as the first door on the right and then my laundry room is in the middle of the hallway and between my bathroom and the laundry area I have this welcome home sign and the first thing you see when you walk into the kiddos bathroom is the shower curtain it is from walmart.com it is a shabby chick gray neutral tone color with little flowers my favorite thing about this bathroom is the shelf over my toilet, but it's just a small, tiny little bathroom. And across from the toilet, I just have a cute little sign from Ross. It's galvanized and whitewashed wood. It says, let all that you do be done in love. We have a tiny sink vanity, which can be very challenging to fit three kids things underneath, but we make do. And my absolute favorite thing about this bathroom is the way that I decorated over the toilet. This wooden shelf came from Amazon and I just have three little jars from the Dollar Tree with floss, Q-tips, cotton balls, and I also have some J.R. Watkins air freshener, which is a non-toxic air freshener. This wreath came from the Wish app 
And this wash, brush, floss, flush sign came from the Mercari app. The little plant next to it came from Ross. And I've had this black metal basket forever that I just keep little toilet paper in and it looks really cute. And on my countertop, I have a little watering tin with some greenery in it. All came from the Wish app. Walking out of my bathroom, this is my laundry area. I do miss having a laundry room. We had a big laundry room in my house, but this is better than nothing. And I love the cabinets over it. I love that it's not just an open shelf. I love that I have cabinets so I can hide away my things. Walking straight back from the laundry room is my bedroom that we will go in in just a minute. And then I have a tiny little mini hallway here. On the left is Arabella's room. On the right is Nolan's room. And I'll just have a decorative mirror in between them. And if you're interested in a more organized and detailed video about my three-year-old's room, definitely check out my toddler girl room clean with me video next. And I love how big and spacious my toddler's closets are. Nolan's closet is this big too, but I love how big it is. I like to store their toys in here and their laundry basket. So that way I can get those big toys out of the way and put those in the closet. And they also love playing in their closets. So it's a win-win. And all of Arabella's furniture and things have come from a variety of places. So I do have a toddler room tour video where I let you guys know where everything came from. These are her pillow fort blackout curtains. They are pink and ruffled. So cute. I just got these from Target. If you're interested in anything that you see in Arabella's room today, you can comment down below and I will get you that link. Or you can go ahead and watch my toddler girl room tour video. It's a room reveal where we first moved in and I revealed her bedroom. Walking across the hallway is Nolan's room and his room is a bit bigger than Arabella's. And I chose to give him this room because there is a vent in the middle of the floor which prevented the way that I wanted to fit Arabella's bed in here. So I just gave this room to Nolan and it all worked out just fine. But when you first walk in, he has a little coat rack and a little table from Ikea. And then he's got his toys, a big open space to spin and run and play. And this is his closet in this door. And then he has this little sign that says, of all the fish in the sea, I chose you and you chose me. But his closet is the same size as Arabella's, which I absolutely love that I can fit all of these big old toys in here, plus all of their clothes. Mama. Arabella and Nolan both have one of these cube organizers in their bedrooms. I call it their toy box because it houses all of their toys. I'm going to be changing out his cube organizers to gray. I think it'll match his room so much better. And this is his cute woodland decor on top of his organizer. He's had the woodland animal theme since I was pregnant with him. And again, you guys, I also did a toddler boy room tour room reveal video whenever we first moved into this home. So definitely check that video out next if you haven't seen it yet. And I have gray textured light blocking curtains in his room. They're not blackout, just light blocking. So they just block out some of the light, but I love them. They look so good in his room. We also have his TV mounted because his first TV he knocked over and busted. Both of my toddlers have the dome sound machine. We just turn it on at nap time and bedtime and it really helps to cut out noise and help them to sleep. And now walking out of Nolan's room and right over into my bedroom. My bedroom is right beside his. And our bedroom doors are all raw in this house, not painted. So we have debated on painting them to make them look better. But this is my room. And I recently did a master bedroom makeover. If you guys have not seen that video, it's so good. And I have linked everything down below of that video in the description box. So if you're interested in any of my decor, check out my master bedroom makeover video. And I have everything linked. Help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my. 
And right across from my bed, I have my husband's toolbox since we do not have a garage. And we have our TV mounted up on the wall. And this is my master bathroom. Y'all, this bathroom is so much bigger than my master bathroom at the house that we just moved from. It was literally a tiny vanity and a toilet. And that's all that was in that bathroom. So I'm so blessed with this large bathroom. And my toddlers tore up my mat. But I got these from Walmart and they are so luscious to step on. But yeah, my toddlers tore it up. And I do still have a really small vanity in this bathroom, but it is a little bit bigger than the one at our other house. And I do plan on doing an organization video in this master bathroom because it does need to be organized in my cabinets and under the sink. So stay tuned for that video eventually whenever I get around to getting my organization vents and figuring out the way that I want to organize this bathroom. And we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving. And I went with the boho Aztec theme for my bathroom, the black and white. So my shower curtain is black and white fabric curtain with tassels on the ends. And I also have the towels and hand towels to match it. And I have been absolutely loving taking baths in this big, huge bathtub, even showers. There's so much room in this big bathtub. I've never had a bathtub this big, so I have really been enjoying it. And since I am limited storage space in my bathroom, I do keep all of my hot tools, my hair dryer, my curling iron, my straightener, all in a cute basket on top of my husband's toolbox and this sums up our home tour our current living situation until we are able to buy our forever home Are you ready to go get our groceries? Go get our groceries. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and enjoyed the way that I decorated. And if you are new around here, I hope you will consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below. Say something nice. And I would love to have you here, part of my YouTube Mama Tribe, my YouTube Mama community. Like I said in the beginning, I upload motherhood content, lifestyle content, cleaning motivation, vlogs, realistic mommyhood mixed in with cleaning motivation. So if that's what you're into and you would like that kind of content, I hope you'll yeah. stick around. But we're about to head out the door and go pick up our groceries. I gotta round up my kiddos and get their shoes put on and get everybody in the car, pack the diaper bag. I feel like I have so much to do and we have to go pick our groceries up in the next 30 minutes or so. So thank you guys so much for being here and so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye. You don't know I'm looking